Another eye-popping valuation for a brand new AI startup. This time it's OpenAI's former chief scientist raising a whopping billion dollars for his own company, Safe Superintelligence Inc. But are these AI startups soaring too close to the sun? Our dear Dubosa is taking a look at that in today's Tech Check. Hey, Dee. Hey, good morning, Carl. So in Gen AI, it's a race for talent among VCs and mega caps alike, scooping up the most influential technical minds in the space. That matters more than having revenue or even a product. Ilya Setskever, now building his own venture with SSI, is seen as one of the most prestigious and sought-after talents in the space. He co-founded OpenAI with Sam Altman, then broke off a few months ago over safety concerns. Now his billion-dollar seed, I reiterate, seed round, is the epitome of this trend. Not even in the ZERP era SoftBank, Tiger Global days, were tech startups able to raise this much cash at the earliest stage of their lives with a product that could still be a few years away way and just 10 employees, as is the case with SSI. I was talking to a VC yesterday who called it the era of the business founders versus the white paper founders. The former, like Sam Altman, they have roots in entrepreneurship and venture capital. White paper founders, like Sutzkiver, are technical, renowned AI researchers. They're brilliant and influential, but their management and business building skills far less tested. Character AI, another example, its white paper founder, Noam Shazir, raised $150 million in its Series A round. A VC on that deal told me that they were investing less in the product, more in Shazir, who ultimately struggled to monetize and ultimately decamped for Google in a deal designed to skirt regulators. Again, here the money followed the talent, not the product. Be sure to check out our Tech Check Weekly for more on this trend of the AI talent raid. Now, SSI's single-page website states that safe superintelligence is the mission, the name, the product roadmap, the sole focus, a mission that really isn't that different from OpenAI, the company that Ilya Setskever left just a few months ago. It, too, was built on the principle of responsible AI that benefits humanity. But under Sam Altman, it has become a lot more profit-oriented. There's Anthropic as well, another offshoot built by former OpenAI employees. Its mission of developing safe AI now being balanced with viable money-making products, just releasing Claude Enterprise for big business this week. My producer, Drew Trost, put it this way this morning that I really liked. He said, safe AI is like the New Year's resolution that no one can keep. Raising this question, will SSI and Ilya Skutskever be able to develop it safely despite the best intentions? Now, of course, comes the hard part, getting the chips and the talent to compete with his former company, OpenAI, which is also raising money at eye-popping valuations, $100 billion plus, guys. The race is on. Talent is absolutely crucial.